Companies and entrepreneurs are integrating AI into everyday operations and it's starting to spook employees. A recent survey by Pew Research finds that more than 50% of Americans think AI will hurt workers more than help them. Employees also overwhelmingly oppose AI being used in hiring to monitor workers. 71% saying they are against AI making a final decision. Lastly, 61% oppose AI tracking employee movements while at work. Shauna, how do you feel about AI in the workplace? And the workplace, well, there was a bit of a disconnect, I thought, within the results of this survey, given yeah. the fact that, what, it was just over 60% do you see AI having a major impact on workers in the right. future, but less than 30% see AI impacting themselves personally at work. So I think there's a lot of disconnect just in terms of how people are envisioning AI, how exactly that l relates right. to the job that they are doing on a daily well, basis. It's clear AI is here to stay. The robots are here. So you have to set certain parameters around how it operates. I can understand employee skittishness. We all feel that way. Look, could robots do our job? Some people might say, yes, we disagree. Do they have enough personality? No, nope, <laughs> not for exactly, me, honey. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I was recently at an event, uh, Blacks United and legal technology and they talked about one of the risks with AI is the potential for bias and you have to there's always initially a human behind it who creates the coding etc cetera, etc cetera. so you have to make sure that you take care of potential factors like that you know you remember when Amazon had the security issue with regard to some bias being built into their programming that law enforcement was using yeah, I think for most of us, AI will make our jobs more efficient. It'll take care of some of those small tasks that you spend a lot of time, that occupies a lot of your time. But if you're not sitting here thinking, how could AI replace what I do or impact what I do, then you're behind the eight ball. And if you're going to college, if you're in college, if you're not thinking about how can I take advantage of artificial right. intelligence, or am I going to a f into a field that might be eliminated entirely? Because You're of making it. a fatal mistake, my friend. But I also think that it's good to point out just in terms of this study was just released, but the survey was taken in mid-December. And I bring up that timing because it was just two weeks after we really started to hear some details about chat GPT and what we're getting from Microsoft. And now right. we have Bard, we have Einstein from Salesforce. So that conversation has really evolved in just the last three and a half months. So I think, oh, I wonder if more more and more people you would think are coming to the realization that their life at work, their job is going to be altered. We don't exactly know how, but it will likely be altered by AI. It will, and people have to prepare for it and figure out, just like you said, Dave, how can I benefit from this or how can I utilize this to make myself more efficient in this job to make myself more valuable? Yeah, certainly, right? yep, the pressure will be on.